And you're going to find these in the back of uh, my sheets here. And you'll notice this guy here, which is pretty darn big. This is the, the variance of a portfolio. And he's fairly healthy, long equation. See that? Yeah, that's, that's a pretty good one there. But I'm going to show you go, how to go ahead and program this one in because I think that if you understand how to do this one, all the rest of them, they'll just fall right out. You, at that point, you'll have it. So let's go ahead and calculate or program for a variance in a portfolio. And in order for you to see this, you might not be able to see all of the equations. So uh, follow along with your sheet at home if you have one. So in order to exit out of here, oh, if I actually wanted to use this menu before I go on to the next one, um, it would just be like using a time value of money or something like that. If I wanted to put in some arbitrary values here for WA and put like A for WB and, you know, just something. I'm just putting in random numbers here. I'm not working an example or anything. My, I would put in values for all those and then I would go to my expected return and that's what it would be. So that's kind of how that works. Uh, you want to make sure that all your menus are always cleared out, so you're going to hit that clear key a couple times. I do it before, when I enter an equation and when I exit one to make sure that all that input data is clear because if it's not, it can really mess up your calculations. All right, now moving on to expected uh, or a variance of a portfolio. I'm going to go ahead and hit the exit button here to get out of my equations and I'm going to get back into new. So I'm back at new and we're ready to go again. So in order to go ahead and program this guy, uh, I'm going to go ahead and type him out just like I did before. And it's V A R uh, let's see P O R Airport N F O uh, where is the L at? Okay, their portfolio equals. I'm going to find a W and an A. Now, this carrot that you're going to see up here on the page, okay, that means to the next to a something power. So, whatever the numbers after that is to the power of. In this case, it's two. And the way that I'm going to put that carrot on my screen here is there's it's a two key kind of thing. You're going to have this key here, and you'll notice, and you can barely see it in the video, but you'll notice it underneath my times key, there's a Y to the X button there. So first I'm going to hit my blue key here, and then that one, and you'll notice that I have a carrot on the screen. So that's how you get that. So, and then uh, I'll put in my two times, uh, let's see here. S A and again with my carrot, so I'm going to come back down here and get my carrot like that. Two and my parenthesis there plus another parenthesis two W A. Oh, and I had forgotten to go ahead and put in my times there, so I'm going to go back because I needed a multiplication symbol there. So I back it up and hit that. Oh, wrong spot. That's okay. We can correct that. There, 2 times WA. And the end of my equation. Times alpha W B times S A times S B times and this one's kind of a long variable because I wanted everybody to know what it was. I use Corab or the correlation between A and B. We learned a little bit about that in our previous class. So that's C uh, O R A B I have another parenthesis there plus then again it's uh, W B 
and then again we're going to come down here and hit that button and then that button for our carrot to the second power times and S B again to the second power two and that's that big old long equation there for you and we're going to go ahead and hit our input button and there it is there and hit our calc button and verifies okay so we're all set we're, we're good to go now it's important to note that not all of the time some of these equations are fairly long and not all of your variables are going to end up on here sometimes this key is going to say more so when you have more values than are displayed up on the screen up here and you want to calculate something look for the more key there's probably more behind it and when you hit it you'll get another list of, equa uh, of variables that you can go ahead and put your numbers into and then uh, that's the one you hit to get your answer at the very end so I hope this has been uh, helpful for you uh, feel free to send me emails notes tips tricks that you guys have found along the way uh, we'll try and get them posted if we can and uh, if you need any clarification let me know and I'll make another video until then have fun um, it looks like it's cumbersome starting out but trust me once you get used to it it's it's kinda like learning a keyboard all over again so uh, enjoy guys bye